take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Ben-Hur, 1959. Upon its release, Ben-Hur was a massive blockbuster that won 11 Oscars, which still stands as the highest tally in history. But according to film historians, as many as 100 horses were killed during the production of the iconic film. Make your mark, take our lead. Nowadays, horses are trained to fall safely. Almost all animal performances are under the close supervision of the film and TV unit of the American Humane Association. Stunt horses can be trained to fall on command safely. Take our lead. Speaking on the Graham Norton Show's New Year's Eve special, he said, I'm not doing the whole root and toot and gun kind of thing, but I ride a horse and I drive a wagon. I'm not a rider per se, but I did learn and got to know a fabulous horse called Wimpy. Make your mark, take our lead. Arness was terribly shy and had almost no training as an actor. A wartime leg wound made it painful for him to mount a horse. But he became the best-known tin star of his era, portraying the towering, weathered marshal for 20 years, from 1955 to 1975. Take our lead. Nearly 200 horses were used during the filming of the chariot race scene in the 1925 Fred Niblo film, Ben-Hur. Many of the horses used in westerns were not so lucky. It is not surprising that so many horses were injured or killed during the making of westerns, considering what horses were subjected to. Take our lead. Ben-Hur is considered a Christian novel, perhaps the most influential one of all time. It uses the fictional character of Judah Ben-Hur to work as an allegory for Jesus' life. The two men are depicted as having existed at the same time, both Jews in Roman occupied Israel, and their lives mirror each other. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.